Despite initial appearances, the Natrona County School District did not commission an installation of sticky note art in several meeting rooms. Instead, it's part of a process to get the entire district's curriculum on the same page. Sticky note by sticky note. I think that students can go through our district with very, very different experiences depending on what school they are at. And so the hope, I think, with this curriculum is that that becomes less disjointed. And I think by doing that, we're actually improving the chances for our students to grow and, and receive the education that they really deserve to have coming out of our district. And that is the ultimate goal, that NCSD students will graduate knowing everything they need to know, which in turn will help the district to meet goals that are outlined in our strategic plan. The process involves multiple levels of staff. So far, subject area committees were formed for English language arts and health. The groups were led by a rep from the Curriculum Leadership Institute, but the teachers, instructional facilitators, and administrators did all the work. It started by finding out what is currently being taught, and that brings us back to the sticky notes. The stickies all represent uh, standards that are taught at each grade level, uh, possibly by one teacher throughout the district, possibly by 10, 15 teachers throughout the district, and then we're taking those stickies and we're um, matching them to the uh, common core standards to see if there's anything missing uh, or if we have any redundancies at grade levels. It's nice because we get to see what teachers are actually doing and that's where we're starting from rather than trying to start from standards or trying to start from some prescriptive curriculum. You know everybody does it a little bit differently so this is going to streamline things and I think it'll make for a better experience for both the teacher and the students. This allows us to make sure we're not missing anything that's important for them to be successful uh, later on in life. As part of the process, there is another group of district employees that make up the Curriculum Coordinating Council. This group provides guidance to the individual subject area committees. But when it comes to the curriculum work, it's those employees in the classroom every day who are doing the heavy lifting. The people that are doing it every day know what is being done and what needs to be done to possibly improve our curriculum. So uh, th this room is full of teachers who are doing a great job uh, and they're representing great teachers throughout the district uh, as they look at what we can do to make our standards and our curriculum better uh, for our students. Teachers are the ones that know. We're all sitting in the classrooms. We know what we're doing. We've been educated. And I actually like this process because it seems like the district is putting some of their trust in us as professionals. And the truth of the matter is any teacher will tell you they've had to go to school, they work in the classroom, they know what they're working with. And most of them even are very aware of the standards. It's a lot more authentic if it's teachers that are doing the work and having the conversations that build the curriculum than if you know, it comes from a company or professionals that we don't even know. This work has already unveiled areas which will improve consistency through the district at all levels. What we really see as we lay this out is that the same things are being taught over and over. Mm -hmm. And so we're doing the same work over and over instead of sharing the load across the district, uh, instead of teaching in a real um, concentrated way the same concepts at kindergarten, first and second grade. If we can roll those out so that they build on one another and each mm -hmm. of us has a responsibility for a part of it, part of it. that might be more mm -hmm. helpful which will lead to more targeted, consistent curriculum across the district and better experiences for students and teachers. Next, NCSD will tackle subject areas PE, social studies, and fine and performing arts with a plan to review all nine subject areas by the 2017-2018 school year.